Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. B Clothing here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Tim Sitzman, it's been a few months. How are it, you, my it, friend? It's really good to have you back at Mr. B's, Chris. It's been a long time and we haven't talked about cyclones. Been a lot going on and outside of football basketball season being in between there and what we're doing. But mm -hmm. uh, it's good to have you back in. You know, we've been doing lots of things around here. We're renovating the store. That's what we're, I heard. A lot of excitement. There's hammers in the background. They're painting. Uh, we're we're going to add another 1,500 square feet to our store. We're going to have a beautiful new uh, suit department. Uh, we're buying, bringing in some new lines. We're just uh, optimistic for fall and winter. Uh, and we want to invite you in in September and see the new beautiful product that will be here at Mr. B. Well, I'd like to invite everybody in here later this week, though, because we've got oh, Father's Day coming know, up. It's one of the reasons we got together today is to wish everybody a happy Father's, happy Day. Father's Day, Day this weekend. But, hey, uh, this is a perfect opportunity to come in and get Dad something. And that's a good point. Even though the renovation is going on, we're still going about our normal business. And we, we are prepared for Father's Day. We have shorts and shirts and ties and all the the traditional things that uh, the kids like to gift their dads. So we're here, we'll gift wrap for you. You can park right in front of the door. We have four or five, you know, Mac and Mike and, and John and, and Andy and all those guys are mm -hmm. ready to wait on you. And, and I'm always here on the floor. So we invite you in to get that, that perfect uh, gift for uh, for dad because it is a special day to recognize dad. Absolutely. Hey, uh, I haven't And talked... happy Father's Day to you. Thank you. It's your first Father's it Day. It is. I'm it, excited. I'm excited for you. Congratulations. Mm, to same you. to you as well. You're, you're a veteran when it I, comes to this. I'm a veteran and actually I'm a grandfather for the first All right. time. Have a, uh, That's your first grandpa's yeah, day. Yeah. All right. First grandpa's day. So it's great. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, we haven't talked since Fred Hoiberg. Yeah, I know. left town. We got a new basketball coach up at Iowa State. What are you? What have been your impressions? Well, you know, for, first of all, I think I, I went with all the the emotion that all the uh, fanatic fans would go through. That you know, I, I didn't want to see him leave, but uh, I think that I understood why he left, and I think we got a real good coach. I I, I think the uh, the emotion of the coach and the way he's going to coach and and all the things that I've read I, without seeing anything in action, I think we've got we've got a winner up there and. Certainly going to have the players this year. Mm -hmm. Just depends on how we can recruit and continue that success that's been going on at uh, Ames, Iowa the last few years. Absolutely. And I wish Fred and his family the best. Uh, he's been a, 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 a number one a citizen in Ames, Iowa, and for the Cyclones, he's represented the this, this school with dignity and integrity and all the things that you want in a basketball coach. Not only that, but he won. And, and it's good to see him. Uh, be successful, and I'll root for him with the at the Bulls. It'll be fun to watch him in Chicago. Yeah. I, I, that's the one silver lining for me. I wish he was still Absolutely. at Iowa State, Absolutely. but at least he's yeah. five hours away, and he's on television. We're going to be able to follow it, it, his career. We don't have, we are blessed with a professional team in Iowa, so we choose between a you know a Minneapolis fan if you want to be a basketball fan, or some people mm -hmm. are Celtic fans. They go yeah. all over, but we have a really a local team as the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, that's my team. That that's that we. We root for the Bulls. Uh, I, I grew up being a Celtics fan, and I root for the Celtics, but they're not as good as the Bulls. Mm -hmm. the, the Bulls have a nice nice team, and uh, we'll see what happens there at Chicago. We're starting in the next couple of weeks, Tim. You and I are going to start digging into the 2015 yeah. football season. Right. We've been doing this for, I don't know, four or five years now. We're where you're making your picks. What do you, you, uh, you know, it's I, a weird it's a weird off season because they've won five games in, in two years, and I there's not as much uh, optimism this year amongst the fan base. How do you feel, though? I, I feel a little let down by the fan base. I, I don't know that this is a, a must-win year for Coach Ro, uh, Rhodes, but I do think that it is a, it is a time for the fan base to step up and, and stand with him because I think he's going to do a really nice job. I. Turnaround year, you sense? I, I'm not sensing a turnaround year, but I'm I'm sensing a beginning of some new energy in the program. I hope so. And and if not, then we may have some trouble at, at the coaching, and, and uh, Mr. Pollard and, and Mr. Rhodes will have discussion because they're doing a lot of nice things in the facility. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Paul and I are very good friends. I've known him since he was a young man. You have. You've known him since he was I've, that Since tall. he was in high school and, and his family, and I think he's an A-plus guy. I mean, I really mean that. And no matter whether Paul Rhodes is at Iowa State or something, he's going to be successful in his life. He's just a quality guy. Well, And sometimes it's just not the right time to be in certain positions. You know, that it, it just doesn't always work for all any of us. But... I hope and pray that it works for him uh, in the next couple of years and we see some success. You speak for all of us right no, there, No, I, I, I really think so. I think he's a class act, and uh, 
we hope that it works. Uh, it, it, you know, that's a tough profession. You know, two teams go out on the field and only one wins. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is. Absolutely. It's just the well, way everybody it. wins when they shop at Mr. B. Yeah, well, we, we hope so, and we don't win every day, but we try. We try to make you feel like a winner when you come in here. Well, absolutely. 1995 Northwest 86th Street is where it is at. You can't miss it. You guys got beautiful signage out front. I'm looking forward to these renovations, Tim. We'll, we are, we'll, too. We'll continue to follow that throughout the summer when we come in here and make our football picks. We'll, we'll have picks on when we're going to be finished when we pick on the when's the when's the date you said we're, September we're, we're looking to have this uh, uh, put to put to bed by the end of August and then have a kind of a grand reopening of our new facility oh great in September well you let us know we'd like to be a part of that we, and help we, promote it we definitely will and and uh, we'll invite all of you to come in and, and see the new uh, new store I think you'll enjoy it we're doing it because of you the customer the customers who it's made this possible so we, you, some of you'd say, hey, this is a nice store now, but I, I think you'll, you'll like what you're going to see. Outstanding. He's Tim. I'm Chris. Have an outstanding Father's Day weekend Happy to Father's all the Day to fathers everybody. out there. We and appreciate it. Happy Father's you Day. You too, buddy. Mm -hmm. Come on in here to Mr. B Clothing, located at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Football picks are coming up here over the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that.